Hi, I'm Marianne Seidler of Tyline Technology. I'm here with Paul Schulens, the Chief Engineer of Greater Media in Boston. Paul, you're using one of our mic adapters, and you've come up with some ingenious uses for it. Do you want to tell me a bit about it? I am. Well, first of all, um, I find the audio quality through the mic adapter to be far superior to using the iPhone itself. Um, we've really uh, tried a lot of different microphones here, and we've decided that all of them sound really good. We also were using the dongle that comes off the top that gives you an XLR plug, which sounds good, but not nearly as good as this. One of the other things that we've been using it for here is with the sales department. Yeah, I was excited about this because this is a good revenue source for stations. Um, a lot of spec spots and demo spots are done. In fact, a lot of the uh, people that uh, run commercials with us, a lot of the sponsors like to do their own voices. So right. our salespeople will go out and the staff will bring one of these with them and it looks very professional and the audio quality is excellent and all they have to do is put the microphone in front of the client and record the piece and it automatically comes back either live or we FTP it to a uh, drive here and we're able to post process it later in our production studio. So we're getting a lot of, uh, a lot of use out of that as well and because just about everybody on the staff has an iOS device it really is applicable to just about anybody without having to um, really plan these things in advance. The traditional ISDN and other means that we have to do remotes are just not always practical and we just don't have the notice anymore. Um, plus the cost, you can't argue with the cost. It's IP connected, um, you've already got your 3G or 4G connection so someone can go out and do this at virtually no cost and on a moment's notice. So uh, we found it to be invaluable. In fact, um, we're going to probably get a, get a few of these. We have a five station cluster here and sometimes it gets a little crowded when one person wants to use it. So these are actually becoming in demand. Now how about the sales staff? That was, I thought, a, a, a genius use of it. Do your salespeople tell you they're actually getting more spots because they're able to record someone kind of on the spot? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. A lot of times the sales staff is not all that technically inclined. They just want to go out there and get the sound. This uh, allows them to do that without thinking about a lot of the technical aspects. So they can basically start the app, put in their password, hit connect, and they get a positive connection notice on the iPhone. They know they're connected back here. And um, either they, um, they live feed it to someone in the production studio that's receiving it on the other end, or like I say, it goes into a uh, drive, it gets um, archived and uploaded and, um, as a WAV file, and then they can deal with it later. Um, as the production people have. Now I have a question. When we used to do remotes, we were both in radio, you showed up to an, a site and you had a lot of equipment. And now you've got people showing up to a remote location and this is what they have. Do you find any resistance on the part of the client to say, well, wait a minute, where's, where's the big audio board? No, we find the clients to be very um, oriented toward the product they're going to end up getting um, on the air. Okay. And if the quality of the product is there, they're not so concerned about us bringing a big dog and pony show to them. They are really interested in spending as little time as they can on the technical aspects of getting their, their word out and um, more, much more concerned about what that word is and the quality of that word.